We always want to get on fish fast. Well, this is what I do each time I go out. And these are five very fast steps that I do to help me narrow down a good starting point no matter what body of water I'm on. Number one is check that water level. Is it going up or down? If it's fluctuating a lot, the first thing I'm gonna do is locate some vertical cover or structure, let the fish move up and down, not horizontally. If the water's dropping slowly, then I'm gonna go ahead and find that next drop off backing off the bank and it doesn't have to be a major drop off sometimes six seven inches is all it will take to hold the fish if that water is dropping slowly and the easiest way to check is look at that water line on shoreline brush the boat ramp rocks that sort of thing the next thing that i like to check for is barometric pressure but here's a neat little trick that jim duckworth a full-time guide down in tennessee taught me he said when you get to the ramp or you're out cruising down the boat or walking down the shoreline take a look at the sticks that are in the water are they sitting vertically like this or sitting horizontally and believe it or not once you start to pay attention to that this holds true no matter where I have been. So if the sticks are floating up horizontally, that means you have a lower barometric pressure. All of the microorganisms are gonna be up in the water column. If those sticks are vertical, that's higher barometric pressure, and all of the microorganisms are gonna be down. So if the sticks are horizontal, I'm usually gonna start with horizontal moving type baits. And if the sticks are vertical, I'm gonna be focusing on the bottom. The next thing that I do is really quickly look at water clarity. It has a lot of color to it. The fish will probably be more shallow. I'm gonna be up beating the bank. If the water is clear or really clear, I know I probably am gonna be fishing deeper and usually I'm gonna put those lures just out of sight. The next one is real easy, look for life. And this goes right along with the pressure and with the water clarity. If you're seeing life shallow, minnows, bluegills, crayfish, that type of thing, there's gonna be bass nearby. But if you're going down that shoreline and zip, nothing you know you're going to be fishing deeper and the last thing i do is i look for where the wind is hitting or the current is going and try to find it going across the funnel or a pinch point very very high percentage area and if you're wondering man where are all the big bass at they're just not shallow anymore go ahead and watch this video about how to find a good starting depth i think you'll find it interesting and make sure to go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.